All right, everyone. Today, we're diving deep into the upcoming second season of Silo, a show that's set to return in just a few weeks. Now, if you haven't heard of it yet, let me tell you you're missing out. Silo brings you right into this dystopian world where humanity is struggling to survive in underground silos. In the world outside, well, we all thought it was some idyllic paradise at least. That's what they want you to believe. In the first season, we met Juliet, played by the magnetic Rebecca Ferguson. She's an engineer, a bit of a rebel who stumbles upon a conspiracy that unravels the truth about their world. You see, the people inside these silos have been told the outside world is toxic, deadly, and uninhabitable. But as we've seen by the explosive finale of season one, Juliet steps outside and discovers the truth what she thought was a paradise is just another illusion. It's a barren, lifeless wasteland with craters as far as the eye can see. And the big question that looms over season two, what exactly is going on with these multiple silos scattered across this wasteland? Now, season two is shaping up to be even more intense. I know you're curious about what happens next. Well, buckle up because the stakes are only getting higher. Juliet is out in the open, but survival is no walk in the park. Her suit? It's running out of air. The tape keeping her safe from the toxic environment? Yeah, that's not holding up. So the opening episodes are going to be all about her fighting to survive, to find safety in another silo. And you have to wonder what's life like in these other silos. Do they know about the outside world? Are they as strict and controlling as the one Juliet just escaped? These are the questions we're all dying to have answered. And from what I've been hearing, it's going to be an intense ride. We're going to see her grapple with new environments, new people, and undoubtedly, new secrets. And let's not forget the looming threat inside the Silas themselves. If you recall from season one, there's a whole power dynamic at play. Those in control, like Bernard Holland, played brilliantly by Tim Robbins, know more than they let on. They keep a tight grip on the truth, manipulating everyone to maintain the status quo. And something tells me that in season two, we're going to get even deeper into this complex, twisted web of control and deception. Bernard is still in play, and his character's role is likely to expand as the stakes escalate. He knows more about the outside world than he shared so far. And trust me, it's going to get messy when the truth starts spilling out. But the really intriguing part is the introduction of Steve Zahn's character, Solo. Now, if you're familiar with Zahn's work, you know he brings an undeniable charisma to every role, but we have very little information about who this Solo character is or how he'll shake things up. I have a feeling he's going to be a wild card, someone who may either help Juliet or create even more challenges for her. Whatever happens, his presence is going to add an exciting new layer to the story. This show, based on the Wool series by Hugh Howey, has always been about more than just survival. It's about unraveling the mystery of why these silos exist, why people are being lied to, and what the endgame really is. Some fans have speculated that season two might take us back in time, showing us how the silos were built and the political maneuvering that went into creating this twisted society. We might finally get to see how this dystopian world came to be and why people are so terrified of what's outside. What's really fascinating about Silo is how it plays with our expectations of dystopian fiction. In most shows like this, the conflict is usually between the rebels and the governing forces. But in Silo, it's deeper than that it's psychological. It's about control, truth, and belief. The people in the Silo have been manipulated for so long that even when confronted with the truth, there's this question, can they handle it? Is the reality worse than the lie? Now, if you're new to the series and haven't watched season one, you're in for a treat. The characters are incredibly well-written with deep arcs and complex motivations. Juliet is more than just your typical dystopian heroine. She's flawed, she's vulnerable, but she's also relentless in her pursuit of the truth. And in season two, we're going to see her push to her limits in ways we haven't seen before. If you think Sid Lowe is just another dystopian show, think again. It's elegant, it's gripping, and it leaves you questioning everything by the time the credits roll. Season 2 promises to dive even deeper into the mysteries we were left with at the end of Season 1. And you know what? I have a feeling that by the time we reach the end of this season, the story is going to take a turn none of us saw coming. So mark your calendars for November 15th, 2024. CeeLo Season 2 is going to be a wild ride and trust me, you don't want to miss it. For more details, make sure to check out the description below. And if you have any questions or theories, drop them in the comments. Let's keep the conversation going. All right, that's it for today's deep dive. If you're as hyped as I am, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. 
More details and all the juicy bits are down below in the description. Let's unravel the mystery of the silos together. Catch you in the next one. With the FBs one.